Hi everyone, welcome to Ready to Read Fridays. I hope that you are enjoying your week and hope it was filled with lots of sun and fun at the beach or the pool. Let's get started, are you ready? Put your fingers together and we'll sing our welcome song. On the count of three. One, two, three. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, so today I'm going to begin with a new book. It's called On the Way to the Beach by Henry Cole. It is written and illustrated by him. And the publisher is Green Willow Books. Let's take a look at the cover. I see a picture of a little girl here. She just might be a character that we meet in the story. Then I also see some other things around. What do you see? I see a bumblebee. I see some birds and a rabbit. These grasses, right? I have these beach grass. I see some sand and a little bug and a seashell, and I believe this is a salamander. Let's take a look. We see some more creatures on this page with some nice yellow flowers. Let's get started. One summer morning, I went for a walk to the beach. I followed the path through the woods. See that path through the woods? I sat very still in the sassafras beneath a loblolly pine. I saw a swallowtail butterfly. Oh, there it is. A summer tanager, a scarlet snake, a brown-headed nuthatch, mushrooms, Virginia creeper, a barreled owl, a peeper tree frog, yellow thistles, a black and white warbler, a raccoon sleeping, a deer feeding, a newt. There are lots of creatures in those woods on the way to the beach. I wandered out of the woods and into a salt marsh. I wonder who's watching me. Do you see any creatures watching? I see a deer poking its head out of the woods. And I see birds too. I sat at the edge of the marsh and peered through the tall cord grass. I saw, what are some creatures that you see before I open up the page? I see a turtle and seagulls and some birds. Hmm. I saw a snowy egret, salt marsh flea bane, tracks in mud, a marsh fiddler crab, a salt marsh periwinkles, a coop taking off, a mosquito, a marsh hawk, a clapper rail in its nest, a diamond back terrapin, white ibis, and a salt marsh skipper butterfly. Whoa, lots of creatures. 
Do you see all of those creatures? I followed a sandy trail that led to a dune. I wonder who's watching me. Hmm. What do you see that might be watching her walk to the beach? I sat near the dune and listened to the breeze whooshing through the sea oats. What do you think she saw? What do you see? I see, or I saw, a boat-tailed grackle, a purple martin, a dainty tiger beetle, a seaside goldenrod, a cottontail rabbit, a six-lined race runner, tracks in sand, a prickly pear cactus, a great black backed gull, a hognose snake, a bumblebee, a gull feather, two purple martins, those were males, the other one was a female, and a red fox. See all those creatures? Mm. This is a fun adventure that she's having. I left the dunes and followed the sound of the surf to the beach. I wonder who's watching me. Mm. Let's see, let's find out who's watching her. I sat on the damp sand on the beach and smelled the salt air. I saw a moon shell, an American oyster catcher, a black skimmer, an angel wing shell, a coquina shells, a flock of sandpipers, a shark's tooth, an osprey with dinner. A common turn, a willet waiting, driftwood, a scallop shell, a rainbilled gull, a flock of pelicans, a ghost crab near its home, and a school of dolphins. Let's take a look at all of these creatures that she saw on the beach. There's a lot of animals that you see on the beach when you go down there and a lot of creatures, not just animals, but also seashells. Well, find a place to sit and watch and listen. What do you see? The ends. I hope that you take an adventure and you take the time to really look and be very quiet and listen to all of the animal sounds when you go down to the beach. It is very exciting. Let's sing our beach song right now. If you have your song list, you can take it out. We're going to sing beach song, which is to the tune of Wheels on the Bus. And this time we're going to sing all four verses. You ready? The sun at the beach is shining bright, shining bright, shining bright. The sun at the beach is shining bright all through the day. The waves of the beach come rolling in, rolling in, rolling in the waves at the beach come rolling in all through the day the seagulls up above come diving down diving down diving down the seagulls up above come diving down all through the day the crabs near the rocks go pinch, 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 
pinch, pinch, pinch. The crabs near the rocks go pinch, pinch, pinch all through the day. All right, let's get to our next story. I have the book, Katerina and the Best Beach Day. It's written and illustrated by Erin Eider Kono. And the publisher is Dial Books for Young Readers. Let's take a look at the cover. I see Katerina and a friend. Oh, I see a bucket. And is that a lobster or a crab? Look at that. And then we have seashells. Wow, and oh, there are lots of little details on the cover. See all those different seashells in the background? Let's take a look. Ooh, I think that's some sea kelp or seaweed that she's swimming through. Here are some more items that she brought to the beach. There's a towel and shovel and bucket. There's a lot that she has. Let's see. Katerina and Leo are going to the beach. They would both love to see a whale. Whales are wondrous. But no one can plan to see a whale. Not even Katerina. She likes to plan everything out. Whales, if you're lucky, may just happen to pass by while you're looking. Oh, there's the beach. There's their umbrella. And look at their cart of beach items. I think I see something back there. Katerina is sure that she and Leo will probably not see a whale, but she will help Leo look for one anyway after she sets up camp. Look at all of that she has to set up. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, she also has to apply the sunscreen. Very important. Then she has shells to collect and crafts to make. Oh, they're out of the seashells that she collected. Do you see that? That's a great idea. There will probably not be a whale to see, but if there is, Katerina will find it after she organizes lunch and flies a kite. Do you see a whale in the water that she might be missing? There's one right over here, do you see it? It's a whale tail. Hmm. She also builds a castle. And has a quick dip. Katerina is busy, but not too busy to help Leo look for a whale. Leo, Leo, I see footprints. Katerina and Leo will both look for a whale. Looks like they have little flippers or fins on that they're gonna put on, right? Scuba gear or snorkeling gear. Katerina is sure that they will probably not see any whales. What do they see right away? Some fish and some seaweed. Leo knows they will. Look at 
look at that whale that they found. I think Leo saw it in the water and said, wait, we need to get in that water and see the whale. That's the story of Katerina and the best beach day ever. Who doesn't have a best beach day when they play in the sand, collect seashells, and even see a whale? That's pretty fun. Okay, let's do one last song before we leave for the day. And I'm going to use my five seashells right here. Okay, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five little seashells laying on the shore. Crash went the waves. Then there were one, two, three, four. Four little seashells down by the sea. Crash went the waves. Then there were three. One, two, Three little seashells, smooth as new. Crash went the waves, then there were two. Two little seashells sparkling in the sun. Crash went the waves, then there was one. One little seashell left by itself. I took it home and put it on my shelf. Thank you so much for coming today and I can't wait to sing some more songs and read some more stories with you next week. Bye.